of how to series. My name is Parshur Shah and I work as a DevOps engineer at Ashley. Today, I will be demonstrating a use case on CICD pipeline, which is to automate, configure, update Nginx on cloud or on premise. So now I will be explaining you the use case. There are hundreds of Nginx servers to be deployed on cloud. Since there was no CI/CD pipeline being used, it took days to set up the environment and updating the environment for new releases in future. So with the use of CI/CD pipeline, we overcame the challenges of manual setup and were able to deploy the servers faster. Tools used for the use case are GitLab for SCM, Jenkins for continuous integration and deployment, Ansible for configuration management, AWS as in cloud platform. So the workflow of the CICD pipeline is as follows. So as soon as in customers uploads the Nginx config file on the GitHub repository, a webhook would be triggered and it will call the Jenkins job. The Jenkins job will then run an Ansible playbook which is to spin up the Nginx instances on cloud or on premise. So the Ansible playbook is used to for the installation, configuration or updation of the Nginx instances as required. So over here you can see there can be two possibilities. Then if the target Nginx instance exists, then the configuration will be updated. And if the application or workload requires a new Nginx instance, then the VM will be provisioned and Nginx will be installed using the default configuration file. And we will update the file with the required one. So this is the GitLab used for the SCM purpose. So over here you can see there are various applications already deployed. So if we'll go in one of the applications, so you will find the host files and the nginx.conf file. The host file consists of the IP address of the VM which was it deployed to for the future use for the updation of the configuration. Now let us trigger up a new instance. So this is my new application. I will just upload a new configuration file. So now I have selected the configuration file which is required for my application. So now I will upload this file on GitLab. So as soon as the configuration file is uploaded, a Jenkins job would be triggered. So So as you can see on the screen, the Jenkins job 61 was triggered. And you can see, since this was the first time the application was deployed, it had triggered, it has triggered the instance for the instance creation and the configuration part. So over here you can see that it has created a VM on AWS environment and it's trying to launch the EC2 instance. So it takes around 5 to 10 minutes to fully provision an EC2 instance on AWS. Till the provision task is running, let us let me explain you the configurations. So on GitLab over here, I have used in webhook which is used to trigger the Jenkins job. So under settings, integrations, so any push event to this GitLab project automation would trigger a Jenkins job. So over here it is the Jenkins URL and the Jenkins job which is triggered as soon as there is a push event.
so now you can see so this is my conditional job which is used to test which application was triggered or which application file was pushed to the gitlab so this is the jenkins job configuration so over here the it is uh, the repository url is the gitlab url which i have configured for any push event to fetch the configuration file so over here you can see build triggers so build when a change is pushed to gitlab so this is the url which i have configured over here so as soon as the gitlab push event occurs a uh, jenkins job is triggered so over here i have used a gitlab api which is used to fetch the pro folder name which is the application name and the file name which is the nginx.configuration file so which is stored in the environment.properties file which will be used in the further use for the ansible scripts so over here you can see that if an nginx.conf file is pushed it should trigger an automation job so now let me go through the automation job so this is my automation job and the configuration are as so over here also i have configured the git url to fetch the files but over here you can see there is no build trigger so this job is triggered only by the conditional job so over here you can see that if the file nginx.conf and host file exists then it will trigger an nginx update playbook yaml so in the gitlab there is already nginx update playbook so over here you can see nginx update playbook so this playbook is used to just copy the nginx conf file the updated config file to the vm and if and the another condition is like if the host file is not present and it should create a aws vm and update and install the nginx on that vm so over here you can see aws vm playbook which is used to create a vm on aws and the nginx playbook is used to update the service install the nginx configurations on the vm which was provisioned so this was the configurations which were done on gitlab and jenkins and we had ansible playbooks for the configuration management now let us see the output of the job so as you can see the vm was provisioned and it is installing the packages it takes around 10 to 15 minutes to provision an instance on aws for the first time so now you can see it is it has updated the packages on the vm now it is installing the nginx now it is starting the nginx service and copying the nginx configuration file which we had stored in the gitlab and the host file is pushed on the gitlab again for future use so you can see in application line which we had triggered now and host files there 
so it the IP is 18 140 and if we'll go on to the AWS console so over here we can see that the machine has been provisioned with the same IP so it was totally automated so some of the benefits of the CICD pipeline are like removes manual manual errors. As you can see, the whole process was automated through the GitLab. We just need to upload the configuration file on the GitLab and it will take care for the rest of the environment provisioning part. So another benefit is of the CICD pipeline is to increase the frequency of releases so through this CICD pipeline we will be releasing the applications in much more faster way than we used to do earlier so now let me show you nginx page so here you can see that nginx is running on the aws provisioned vm so that's it for today guys uh, thank you so much for watching the video and i hope you find it informative if there's any particular topic that you want us to do a video on, let us know and we will we'll be happy to do that. And um, make sure you hit that subscribe button because uh, with all your awesome support, we can keep bringing you more stuff and every time a new video comes, you will know because it will pop on your screen. Thank you so much. Have a great day.